Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a shift register in Quartus. So basically what you're going to need is to create a new VHDL file. And in this VHDL file you want to make sure that, you know, obviously you're call calling what library you're using and stuff. Next you want to define the entity. You want a clock pause. Uh, PL input. We have parameter data and we have Q. So the architecture of this is basically signaling a temp register right here and then we process NCP and PL when PL is 1 then temp 3 is 0 temp 2 is 3 temp 1 is 2 and temp 2 0 is 1 and then gives uh, an extra condition Now we'll go ahead to find the architecture and then we'll run it. And basically how shift register works is it takes a value and it moves it over to the next slot. So temp3 goes to temp temp3 is equal to 0. Temp 2 goes to temp 3, temp 1 to temp 2. And shift registers are also pretty much used for helping to store memory and helping to move memory. So here now we have to compile everything. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and open up a new waveform. Go ahead and insert node or bus, node finder, go ahead and list. Got your clock, you got your parameter data, you got your PL, and then you got your output. So there we go. So when you set up your waveform, you want to make sure that you have a certain value ready. Give it more of a random value. There, that's perfect. So, so now when we run this, and Z is on, wait, and Q is,
Now when we run this and use our output, it'll show us since we have our parallel high and our parallel data is at 1100 it'll go 1100 and then it'll shift to the right shift to the right again and then again and then until there's no data because it can only send data one bit at a time so there you go that's how you create a shift register thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to your professor that would be cool and then i'll see you in a later video